Over the past five months, I discovered seven AI use cases that will speed up your three documentary workflow by a lot. And I'm not talking about AI generated videos that will make your client vomit. I'm talking about actual shortcuts that you can use to speed up your Blender work. And I know this because I'm a true three documentary style editor that uses its exact techniques to work with clients, including a recent video I did for Magnets Media. And speaking about it, here are four issues I had while animating for them and how AI, specifically ChatGPT, help me with those. The first one appeared right after I got the script. How do you even turn words into a full 3D animation? Sure, I knew the characters, the camera angles, and even where the scene would take place. But what about the details? I mean, the clothing, the textures, the background, all those things that make your shot feel alive. Previously, 3D animators had to sacrifice hours of production by looking for reference images, doing research, watching other movies to get inspiration, and so on, just to come up with one scene. All that ends today, because now we have AI. Here's the simple method I used. I told ChatGPT, this is a section from a video I'm working on, help me visualize it, a piece of the script, and finally, everything that I had in mind for the shot, like camera angle, setting, characters, and so on. ChatGPT will then generate reference images that I can use to fill the gaps of my imagination and break through any creative blocks I might have. So on screen, you're going to see a bunch of before and afters from the ChatGPT images to my final renders. But here's what I discovered. AI images aren't just reference material. You can actually use them in your scene. I did exactly that in this opening shot where the background is just a plain with a picture of a realistic sky. Or here, where the entire scene behind is a plane with an image. You just have to ask ChatGPT for a picture and then import that as a plane in Blender. Almost no one caught up on this and it saved me like an entire day of working on just a five second shot. But that's not all AI can do. ChatGPT didn't just help me create backgrounds, it completely eliminated entire steps from my workflow while coming up with this, this, and this scene. You see, in the past, if I wanted to make this letter right here, I'd have to open Photoshop, pick a handwritten font, write the content, center it, and export it as a PNG. But with AI, the process gets cut to a single prompt. For example, in the letter case, I told ChatGPT to generate an image of this text in a handwritten style against a transparent background. Then I dropped that image into Blender, mix it with a paper texture, and that's it. A realistic letter ready to go. Unfortunately, it's not as easy and straightforward as it sounds. So if you want to learn how to combine a PNG image with a paper texture, I actually covered that technique in this lesson from the exclusive content section of my Render Room community. I did it with a chalkboard there, but the techniques are practically the same. I also made another seven videos covering different techniques I used for the Magnets Media project. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. But the biggest AI time saver during this project came while I was building this scene right here. Even though the money fading away effect was relatively easy to do with particle systems, copying and pasting that effect into all the money objects with an offset was a big issue. We're talking about one to two hours of repetitive work by manually copying the particle system, adjusting the timing, duplicating the materials and all that stuff. Just the thought of doing that made me want to quit the effect entirely. But John, the creator of Magnets Media, really wanted this effect in this scene right here. So then I remembered something crucial about Blender. It runs on Python. That means you can ask ChatGPT to write a Python script and run it inside of Blender. That way you can speed up repetitive tasks and do pretty much everything inside the program except the exciting stuff like modeling, rigging, sculpting, and all that stuff. So in this case, I did exactly that and asked ChatGPT to make a script that will copy the effects I wanted into multiple objects with an offset. And yeah, it worked. What could have taken hours of work was done in minutes. The crazy part of all of this is that you don't need to understand any single item of code to do this because ChatGPT just handles everything for you. And if something doesn't work, you just ask it to fix it and that's it. Now, if you're curious about how I actually created that money fading away effect, I broke down the entire particle system setup in one of those Magnets Media breakdowns I mentioned before. Again, the link is in the description. But yeah, enough of Magnets Media. Let's talk about three more AI shortcuts I discovered recently and I'm applying to new 3D work I'm doing right now. For example, this random line of people right here. I did this by using geometry nodes 
but the crazy thing is that I don't know how to use them. In fact, I just started with these basic notes right here. In the past, I probably just place the people myself or look for thousands of tutorials on the internet, potentially wasting like an entire day trying to do this. But once again, AI was a big helper right here because I just had to ask what notes I should add next and where to connect them and so on. Unfortunately, it wasn't as easy because AI tends to abbreviate a lot of words. It goes pretty fast. So what I ended up doing was asking it to give me step-by-step -step instructions and only proceed with the next step after completing the current one. That way I set up myself for a great learning experience and slowly but surely I'm learning this great tool, Geometry Notes, that can save tons of hours. But another tool that saved me tons of hours was the one I used for these decimated characters right here. Thanks to this tool, I didn't have to model them or pay lots of money to a character creative software. In fact, the process was as easy as one prompt and a couple minutes of waiting. Basically, I went to Gemini and asked it to generate images. Then I sent those pictures to Meshi AI to generate these 3D models. Honestly, I'm blown away by the amount of quality you get on the first try. So just so you can see how fast AI is evolving, this is a comparison between Meshi 5 and the Meshi 6 model. It's not great for fully realistic and animated characters, but for these use cases, it's more than enough. And with this project in particular, characters are not animated. That means most of the animation work is just camera movements like a slow zoom in or a slow zoom out. So what I would normally do is render those scenes just like any other ones, leaving my PC useless for hours or wasting a lot of money on render farms. But with AI, that's not a thing anymore. Now I can get these simple scenes out of the way and focus all my efforts and resources into the shots that needed the most, the ones with lots of movements and animation. I just needed to upload the start and end frame of my animation, use a simple prompt, specify the duration, and upscale the result. Everything inside this AI platform called OpenArt. And if you want to know how to use it and save tons of animation and rendering hours, watch this video next where I show you the entire process when to use it and when not to. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.